Hey guys, this is Nick with Phone Arena. You're watching our video review of the Motorola Pro Plus. This is a device which is uh, tailored with uh, business users in mind, uh, which explains the BlackBerry style uh, QWERTY keyboard underneath its display. Uh, in terms of hardware, it offers a uh, 1 GHz uh, single core processor. It uh, comes with a 5 megapixel camera on its back and its uh, display is 3.1 inches in diagonal. The smartphone fits uh, nicely in the hand thanks to its uh, curved bottom side and rounded edges. We also like uh, how light it is, it weighs only 113 grams. Uh, in terms of the thickness, it uh, stands at 11.65 millimeters, which puts it a bit on the thick side, but uh, that doesn't make it cumbersome to carry around in any way. The phone is constructed entirely out of plastic, uh, yet thankfully that doesn't make it feel cheap. Uh, its back cover sports a soft touch finish and a really nice wave texture pattern which uh, makes it comfortable to hold and add some extra grip. Besides, uh, that keeps dirt and dust away. Underneath the display we find a set of four Android buttons and uh, we're happy to see that they're quite responsive to the touch. We're also pleased with the well-shaped volume rocker which uh, you can find with your thumb even without looking. The physical keyboard on the Motorola Pro Plus feels a bit weird at first, but the more you use it, the more you get used to it. We used the phone for a couple of days and uh, eventually we were able to type uh, fairly quickly and accurately on it, so we think that the business users will be quite happy with it. The Motorola Pro Plus comes with a 3.1 inch uh, display with a resolution of uh, 480 by 640 pixels which results in a pixel density of 258 pixels per inch. That makes uh, images and fine text appear really sharp uh, on the display. Uh, we're also very happy with its uh, outdoor visibility as it is uh, bright enough to be comfortably used on a bright uh, sunny day. What we were not that happy with is the display's uh, viewing angles because even a slight tilt to the side makes color look washed out. The Motorola Pro Plus runs Android 2.3.5 Gingerbread, which has been customized uh, with a custom overlay from Motorola. In terms of hardware, it's uh, a bit modest. It offers a single core 1 GHz uh, processor, but uh, navigation is pretty fluid nevertheless, even though we have a live wallpaper set up right now. In terms of widgets, plenty of them are available out of the box and will cover the majority of your necessities, such as uh, quick access to weather information, uh, email or social networking. Even though it has a physical query keyboard, the Motorola Pro offers a virtual one, uh, which is available when the device is in landscape mode, uh, but you probably won't be using it very often, as we don't find it to be much more comfortable to use than the physical one. In terms of software, you get a few very neat applications pre-installed, so like the 7 Digital Music Marketplace, which lets you purchase music uh, straight from the smartphone. Uh, besides, you get the Phone Portal application by Motorola, which is quite useful because it lets you manage the device over Wi-Fi, similar to the way Kiss Air can manage Samsung devices. You also get Quick Office, which can be used to open and edit applications on the go. Uh, including PDF files. The Motorola Pro Plus uses the stock Android internet browser, but uh, its performance is far from perfect. Uh, it uh, tends to lag a bit and the pinch to zoom functionality is uh, quite choppy. And uh, uh, you get Adobe Flash support out of the box, but uh, while Adobe Flash animations are uh, rendered on the page, that takes a great toll of the browser's responsiveness. Uh, but uh, even when Adobe Flash is off, navigation is still uh, a bit choppy. The Motorola Pro Plus offers a 5 megapixel camera with a single LED flash and its performance is uh, rather average. When shooting outdoors we notice that there's uh, a lot of details in the shots and the amount of digital noise is tolerable. But uh, the camera has a drawback, uh, namely that it tends to uh, overexpose the photos and uh, colors tend to look washed out. When shooting indoors, uh, photos uh, look fine as long as you have a reliable light source, uh, but uh, when there's not a lot of light around, the camera has troubles focusing on the object uh, and balancing the colors properly. The phone can also shoot a video with 720p resolution, and its performance is uh, average as well, but uh, something that we need to notice is that uh, it uh, 
it's rather slow in adjusting the white balance quick enough. We were very impressed by the cool audio player that the Motorola Pro Plus comes with. Uh, it may look a bit uh, simple at first, but it actually offers a lot of cool features. It lets you listen to online radios, you can search for YouTube music videos, and uh, it automatically displays the lyrics of uh, whichever song you're playing. You also get the SoundHound music recognition feature built in. When it comes to video playback, uh, 720p is the biggest resolution uh, at which videos can be played at, and uh, DivX uh, file formats uh, are supported out of the box. The Motorola Pro Plus offers all the connectivity features you would expect from a device of its rank. Uh, it has a 14.4 megabit per second HSDPA radio. It comes with Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, GPS and an FM radio with RDS. The GPS was uh, rather slow at pinpointing our location from a cold start uh, because it took a little over two minutes to do it. But uh, after that it was able to locate us within a couple of seconds. We're quite happy with the in-call audio performance of the Motorola Pro Plus. We didn't have to turn the volume of its earpiece all the way up in order to get some uh, loud and clear tones out of it. Besides, there's a secondary microphone which suppresses a great deal of uh, background noise and uh, our voice sounded uh, really distinct on the other side of the line, uh, although slightly artificial. When it comes to battery life, uh, the Motorola Pro Plus can provide uh, 8 hours of talk time or uh, last for 312 hours in standby mode, which are both figures slightly above the average. In conclusion, the Motorola Pro Plus could have been a good entry-level business-oriented device uh, if it wasn't for the poor performance of its browser. But uh, other than that, uh, there is little for us to complain about. Uh, we find it very suitable for people who prefer physical keyboards over virtual ones and uh, people who like texting and uh, people who spend a lot of time chatting with their buddies online. Besides, the smartphone is pretty strong in the multimedia department and packs an eye-pleasing display. Of course, it's always a good idea to see what else is out there on the market. Uh, if you are much into social networking, check out the HTC Chacha, which offers a query keyboard as well. Besides, uh, the Samsung Galaxy Y Pro and the Galaxy M Pro have a similar form factor but are much uh, more budget-friendly alternatives. And probably the best alternative to the Motorola Pro Plus that we could think of is the Sony Ericsson Mini Pro, which has a pretty identical hardware and a physical keyboard but comes much cheaper than the Motorola Pro. Thank you for watching our video review of the Motorola Pro Plus. This was Nick, and if you want to check out any of our other smartphone reviews, feel free to go to our website, phonearena.com.